Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, King of Kings. Thank you, Lord of Lords. Thank you, the Ancient of Days. Thank you, the Great I Am that I Am. Thank you, the God that was, that is, and never shall be. Thank you, the Lion of the Tribe of Judah. Thank you, the Rose of Sharon. Thank you, the Lily of the Valley. Thank you, the God of all flesh. Thank you, the God that ruleth in the affairs of men. Father, we bless your holy name. We worship you, Lord. We adore you. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We give you all the adorations. Thank you, Father, for making tonight a reality. Thank you, Lord God in heaven, for allowing us to gather at your feet again tonight. Blessed be your holy name. In the mighty name of Jesus, our Lord and our Father, even as we gather together in your presence tonight, Father, have mercy on us and forgive us of all our sins in the mighty name of Jesus. In all the areas where we have sinned against you, Shekinah, King of glory, please be merciful unto us in the mighty name of Jesus. Forgive us of all our sins, our Lord, our God, and our King. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, even as we gather together tonight, mercy of God overshadow us in the mighty name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus overshadow us in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire envelop us in the name of Jesus. As we gather together tonight, Holy Ghost fire enter into our lives and destroy every activity of darkness. In the name of Jesus, as we gather together again tonight, Holy Ghost fire, enter into our lives and destroy every activity of darkness. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. To you we give all the glory, for in Jesus' name we pray. Any altar of darkness anywhere that is crying against our prayer meeting tonight, Holy Ghost fire, burn them to ashes. In the name of Jesus, any altar of darkness, environmental altars, territorial altars, crying against our prayer meeting tonight, Holy Ghost fire, burn them to ashes. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire, burn them to ashes. In the name of Jesus, any agent of darkness on assignment against our garden tonight, thunder of God, bury them alive. In the name of Jesus, any agent of darkness on assignment against our prayer meeting tonight, turn down God, bury them alive. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire, bury them instantly. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. I want you to pray, say anything in my life that will not allow God to hear me tonight, die by fire. In the name of Jesus, anything in my life that will not allow God to hear me tonight, die by fire. In the name of Jesus, anything in my life that will not allow God to hear me tonight, die by fire, 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 die by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, anything in my life, anything in my wife's life, anything in my children's lives that will not allow God to hear us tonight, die by fire, die by fire, die by fire, die by fire, die by fire. In the name of Jesus, any challenge in my foundation that will challenge me tonight, perish by fire. In the name of Jesus, any satanic challenge in my foundation that will challenge me tonight, perish by fire, die by fire, perish by fire, die by fire. For in Jesus' name we pray. Our prayer meeting is going to be very brief tonight by the special grace of God. Hallelujah. Our prayer meeting is going to be very brief tonight by the special grace of God. So I want you to begin to share the video now. We don't have so much time tonight. Hallelujah. It's going to be very, very brief. Hallelujah. But tonight... We are looking at the topic, the act of satanically summoning the human spirit. The act of satanically summoning 
the human spirit. We are going to pray any, any power anywhere that is summoning my spirit. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Any power anywhere summoning in my spirit, summoning in my wife's spirit, summoning in my children's spirit. Die by fire, 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 die by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, people will be sleeping. They'll be summoning their spirit. Hallelujah. Mashaka Nepoleon. The Lord will help us. Yes, calling the human spirit. Call the act of satanically calling the human spirit. Somebody said you are going to pray. Say any wicked power that is satanically calling my spirit. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Any wicked power that is satanically calling my spirit. Die by fire. 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 In the name of Jesus, any wicked power that is satanically calling my spirit, I say, die by fire, die by fire, die by fire, die by fire. Open your mouth and pray. Any wicked power anywhere that is satanically calling my spirit, ah, let the thunder of God bury you now. In the name of Jesus, let the thunder of God bury you now. In the name of Jesus, let the thunder of God bury you now. In the name of Jesus, any wicked power that is satanically calling my spirit, Muraba Sakata, wherever they may be, thunder of God, bury them now. Thunder of God, bury them now. Masaka le poli baba kaskandaya. Any wicked power anywhere that is satanically calling my spirit, that is satanically calling my wife's spirit, that is satanically calling my children's spirit, wherever you are, let thunder bury you. In the name of Jesus, let thunder bury you. In the name of Jesus, let thunder bury you. In the name of Jesus, wherever you are, I say let thunder bury you in the name of Jesus. Any wicked power, anywhere, that is satanically calling my spirit. Satanically calling my wife's spirit. Satanically calling my children's spirit. Your end has come. Die by fire. In the name of Jesus, you will not survive tonight's onslaught. In the name of Jesus, you will not survive tonight's onslaught. In the name of Jesus, wicked spirits, wicked powers, demonically calling my spirit, die by fire, die by fire. Let the same arrow that you are firing at me backfire and bury you. In the name of Jesus, let the same arrow that you are firing at me backfire and bury you. In the name of Jesus, massacre Leporia, let the same arrow that you are firing at me, that you are firing at my wife, that you are firing at my children, backfire and bury you in the name of Jesus. Masaka de Poliba Bakaskandaya. Malebra Gazanda de Polia. Masoka de Poliba Bakasanda de A lot of people have been sent into insanity by satanically calling their spirit. A lot of men and women have been sent into insanity by satanically calling their spirit. If I, one of the dangers of calling the human spirit is that if care is not taken, the man or woman that is called, the whose spirit is called, can run mad. It's something that we have seen over the years. When the wicked call the spirit of a man, the man may run mad. You are going to pray. Somebody say, I bless God that you are here tonight. Say, any wicked power, say, technically calling my spirit so that I can become mad. You are a liar. Die in the name of Jesus. Any wicked power that is satanically calling my spirit so that I can become mad wherever you are. Die by fire. 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 In the name of Jesus. Any any wicked power that is satanically calling my spirit. That is satanically calling my wife's spirit. That is satanically calling my children's spirit so that we can become mad. You are a liar. Die by fire. In the name of Jesus, you are a liar. Die by fire. In the name of Jesus, you are a liar. Die by fire. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus. They have taken your name to the abbalist. They have taken your name to the witch doctor. 
in order to satanically call you. Masoka Leporia, the thunder of God will bury them tonight. In the name of Jesus, any wicked soul, somebody is looking at me, any wicked soul that has taken your name to the altar of darkness, in order to satanically call your spirit, they will run mad by the power in the blood of Jesus. They will run mad by the power in the blood of Jesus. They will run mad by the power in the blood of Jesus. For in Jesus' name, pray. I want you to pray for yourself. And I want you to share this video. I want you to pray for yourself. And I want you to share this video. Masaka Leporia. You say, I cover myself. I cover my wife. I cover my children. I cover my home. I cover this environment. I cover this territory. Yes, this vicinity. With the blood of Jesus. Masaka Leporia. Mavi Musaka Leporia. Anyone standing at the dead of the night, anyone standing at the dead of the night to satanically call my spirit, run mad by the power in the blood of Jesus, run mad by the power in the blood of Jesus, run mad by the power in the blood of Jesus, run mad by the power in the blood of Jesus, massacre the body. Anyone that is satanically calling my name in order for me to run mad. You are a liar, run mad by the power in the blood of Jesus. That is why the Bible says in Revelation 13:10 that he that lived into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killed by the sword shall be killed by the sword. For this is the this is the patience of the saints. Hallelujah to Jesus. Listen to me. Somebody is here. They want to send the insanity into your life. <laughs> they want to send insanity into your life. And the Lord has revealed to us tonight the way they want to do it. They want to call your spirit. They want to call your human spirit so that you can run mad. Wherever you are, stand up on your, foot, on your feet now. Stand up on your feet now. Take anointing oil and anoint your head. Wherever you are, stand on your feet now. Take anointing oil and anoint your head. Mosaka Leporia. Oh, yes. Mosaka Leporia. You are going to pray like this. Any wicked power, anywhere that is satanically calling my human spirit in order for me to run mad. Any wicked power, anywhere that is satanically calling my human spirit in order for me to run mad wherever you are die by thunder run mad by fire die by thunder run mad by fire in the name of jesus wherever you are die by fire run mad by fire massacre the warrior wherever you are i say run mad by the power in the blood of jesus wherever you are i say run mad by the power in the blood of Jesus, wherever you are, I say, run mad by the power in the blood of Jesus. Masaka Lepori Baba Kaskandaya, Manebra Gazanda Leporia, Madobra Gazandaya, Masuka Leporia, anyone, anywhere that is satanically calling my human spirit in order for me to run mad, I bury you now by the thunder fire of the living God in the name of Jesus. I bury you now by the thunder fire of the living God. In the name of Jesus, I bury you now by the thunder fire of the living God. In the name of Jesus, anyone, anywhere that is satanically, Morabasaka Leporia, Mabro Gazanda Gadaga, Nibra Gazanda Ya, Masoka Leporia, Madobra Gazanda Ya, Matakuli, Bragazanda, Musaka Leporia, anyone, anywhere that is satanically calling my human spirit in order for me to run mad wherever you are. I command whatever it is you are trying to do against me, whatever it is you are trying to do against my wife, whatever it is you are trying to do against my children, to backfire on you, to backfire on you, to backfire on you. Yes, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killed by the sword shall be killed by the sword. Somebody is looking at me. They want you to run mad. That is why we are treating this topic 
the act of satanically summoning the human spirit. They are calling your spirit now. They want you to run mad. Massacre any wicked power that is calling your human spirit in order for you to run mad. They shall run mad by the power in the blood of on the altar where they are calling your human spirit. They will run mad by the power in the name of Jesus. Any wicked power, any wicked personality that is calling your human spirit on any satanic altar shall run mad on that altar by the power in the name of Jesus. Whether it is a herbalist, shall run mad on that altar. Whether it is a witch doctor, shall run mad on that altar. Whether it is a witchcraft power, shall run mad on that altar. Whether it is a marine agent, shall run mad on that altar. Whether it is an occultic agent, shall run mad on that altar. Whether it is a serpent agent, shall run mad on that altar. Whether it is an idol worshiper, shall run mad on that altar. In the name of Jesus, anyone standing on any satanic altar, to satanically call your human spirit because they want you to run mad. It will backfire on them. They will run mad by fire. It will backfire on them. They will run mad by fire. It will backfire on them. It, they will run mad by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. Luke chapter 18 verse 1. The Bible says Jesus told them another parable. He went on to this end. And he said men ought to pray and not to faint while you are busy sleeping. Some people are standing on satanic altars and they are busy. They are calling your name. They are calling your human spirit. That is why you are here tonight. Even if that is the only prayer you are going to pray, you have the instruction. Anoint your head. Masoka Leporia. Stand up. Anoint your head. Hallelujah. And shout it with only anger. Say, any man or woman that is standing on any demonic altar, yes, that is satanically calling my human spirit, any man or woman that is standing on any demonic altar, that is satanically calling my human spirit, Mosaka Leporia, wherever you are, run mad by the power in the blood of Jesus, wherever you are, run mad by the power. In the blood of Jesus, wherever you are, run mad by the power. In the blood of Jesus, wherever you are, run mad by the power. In the blood, I say, run mad. I say, run mad. I say, run mad. I say, run mad. I say, run mad by the power. In the blood of Jesus, man, ne baka sakata braga zanda ya ne braga. Somebody is looking at me right now. I pray for any human being that is standing on any satanic altar. Yes, to satanically call your human spirit, to satanically summon your human spirit, I command them to run mad. Instant, instant insanity, instant insanity by the power in the blood of Jesus. The Bible says, He frustrated the token of liars and He made their diviners to run mad. Wherever the wicked is divining against your human spirit. The God of Elijah will baptize them with chronic madness in the name of Jesus. He frustrated the talking of liars. He made their diviners to run mad. Masoka Leporia, wherever satanic diviners are divining against you, Masoka Leporia, let them run mad by the power in the blood of Jesus. Yes, Masoka Leporia, incurable insanity. Let it overshadow them. Let it overshadow them in the name of Jesus. <laughs> For in Jesus' name, have you anointed your head? You are going to pray again. Say, anyone calling my human spirit, anyone calling my human spirit on any satanic altar, God of Elijah, baptize them with incurable madness in the name of Jesus. God of Elijah, baptize them with incurable madness in the name of Jesus. God of Elijah, baptize them with incurable madness in the name of Jesus. Masakaya Baba. Lebra Gazanda Yagadaba is one of the wickedness of the wicked. You may not believe it, but in this wicked world, there are some wicked men and women that have become demonized. Oh yes. That have, that have become satanic. Hallelujah. They will be calling the human spirit 
of a fellow human being. And the consequences of that is that that human being will not matter. And somebody said, hmm, God has brought you here tonight to save your life. My neighbor, Gazanda, Leporia, they have already concluded. The Bible says in the book of Acts, it said 40 Jews bound themselves under a curse that they will not eat, they will not drink until they are killed. Paul, you are here, they have concluded that they are going to send insanity into your life. Massacre Leporia say, blood of Jesus, deliver my head from every agenda of insanity. In the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, lay your right hand on your head and be praying that prayer. Blood of Jesus, deliver my head, deliver my wife's head, deliver my children's head from every agenda of insanity. insanity. In the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, deliver my head from every agenda of insanity. In the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, deliver my head from every agenda of insanity. A sister is looking at me right now. This is your prayer. Shout it very well. Mosaka <laughs> Leporia, prevention is better than cure. Say, blood of Jesus, deliver my head from every agenda of insanity by the power. In the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, deliver my head, deliver my wife's head, deliver my children's head from every agenda of insanity. In the mighty name of Jesus. That is why God is hiding your head. On the umbrella of prayer. That is why God, the Lord is hiding your head. On the mountain of prayer. Masoka Nepoleon. Malibra Gazanda. I tell some people. You come to church. You are fighting everybody there. <laughs> You don't know that God brought you to that church to cover your head from the agenda of the wicked. Masoka Leporia. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Like I said, this prayer meeting is going to be brief. Masoka Leporia is going to be very brief. And the Lord will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. It's going to be very brief. Please invite others before we leave the prayer meeting. Masoka Leporia. Let us go into the Bible. Go with me into the book of 4 Samuel, chapter 28. You will see how the summon, how they call the human spirit. Hallelujah. It's in the Bible. In 1 Samuel, chapter 28, <laughs> they have been calling human, human spirit from biblical times. Hallelujah. 1 Samuel, chapter 28, from verse 5. Please share this video. And I know everyone will bless you. Because you are going to be saving somebody tonight from the agenda of insanity. Masoka Leporia. Invite your brothers, invite your sisters, invite your friends, invite your colleagues. You are going to be saving somebody tonight from the agenda of insanity. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. If somebody is looking at me right now, you are the one. They have gathered, they have concluded to turn you into a mad woman. To turn you into a madman. But the blood of Jesus on this mountain will not allow it. In the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus on this mountain will not allow it to happen. Because according to Revelation chapter 12, verse 11, he said, And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of their testimonies. And they loved not their lives unto the death. Listen to me. Because of the blood of Jesus, you will not run mad. All those that want you to run mad, they will run mad on your behalf. In the name of Jesus, I want you to turn into prayer. Say, God of Elijah, all those that want me to run mad, let them run mad on my behalf. In the name of Jesus, God of Elijah, all those that want me to run mad 
all those that want my wife to run mad, all those that want my children to run mad, Father, let them run mad on our behalf. Let them run mad on my behalf. Let them run mad on my wife's behalf. Let them run mad on my children's behalf. The Bible says he loves cursing. Let curses come upon him. Masaka Lepoda. He loves cursing. Let curses come upon him. He loves to turn to people into, into, into mad men, into mad women. Let madness fall upon him. Let madness fall upon her in the mighty name of Jesus. So we are going into the Bible. And we are reading for Samuel chapter 28. Keep on sharing. And don't forget to like the page. Hallelujah. Whether you are watching us on Facebook, on YouTube, on Instagram, please help us share this page. Save somebody from insanity. Save somebody tonight from incurable insanity. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. The Bible says, And when Saul saw the host of the Philistines, he was afraid, and his heart greatly trembled from tonight. Because you came to this mountain, your enemy shall become afraid because of you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, because you are on this mountain tonight, all your enemies, they shall become afraid because of you. The fear of you shall fall upon them in the mighty name of Jesus. The fear of you shall fall upon them in the name of all your enemies. Your fear will fall upon them by the power in the blood of Jesus. All your enemies, I say your fear shall fall upon them in the name of Jesus. Your fear shall fall upon them in the name of Jesus. Your fear shall fall upon them in the name of Jesus. Your fear shall fall upon them in the name of Jesus. <laughs> For in Jesus' name we pray. Because you are here tonight, fear will fall upon all your enemies. All those that are jealous of your glory. All those that do not want your life. All those that do not want you to be healthy. All those that do not want you to enjoy an excellent well-being. Your, your fear will fall upon them by the power in the blood of Jesus. Somebody is looking at me right now. All the witches in your father's house from tonight, because of the blood of Jesus on this mountain, they, they will become afraid of you. In the name of Jesus, because of the blood of Jesus upon you, they will become afraid of you. In the, whenever they hear your name, they begin to wee and poo in their pants. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, from tonight, whenever the wicked, your enemies, hear your name, out of fear, they begin to urinate on themselves. They begin to pour on their bodies by the power in the blood of Jesus. Massacre Nepoia. He said, and when Saul saw the host of the Philistines, he was afraid, and his heart greatly trembled. Massacre Nepoia. They have been challenging you before tonight. <laughs> But from tonight, the thunder of God will challenge them in the name of Jesus. My labor, Gazanda, Leporia, all those that are challenging you from tonight, the thunder fire of the living God shall challenge them in the name of Jesus. They are challenging your, your destiny. They are challenging your life. They are challenging your marriage. They are challenging your job. They are challenging your career. They are even challenging your health. They are challenging your business. The business you have, they are challenging it. Let thunder challenge them. Let thunder challenge them. Let thunder challenge them. You are going to pray. All those that are challenging me, God of Elijah, let your thunder challenge them. In the name of Jesus, all those that are challenging me, all those that are challenging my wife, all those that are challenging my children, all those that are challenging my colleague, all those that are challenging my ministry, God of Elijah, let your thunder challenge them. Let your thunder challenge them. Thunder challenge them. Thunder challenge them. Thunder challenge them. Oh, yes. My son, California. Whether it is in your place of work, that they are challenging you. Whether it is in your neighborhood, that they are challenging you. Whether it is in your father's house, that they are challenging you. All those that are challenging you, the thunder fire of God will challenge them in the name of Jesus. All strange afflictions, incurable afflictions will challenge them by the power in the blood of Jesus. Hmm. The Bible says in 1 Samuel chapter 28, Verse 6, go ahead and share the video. And when Saul inquired of the Lord, 
And the Lord answered him not. Saul, of course, he had offended the Lord, and the Lord had rejected him. He made inquiries of the Lord, and the Lord did not answer him, neither by dreams, he, did it. he was not having any revelation anymore, nor by Uri, nor by the prophets. Are you here tonight? And God is not answering you anymore. <laughs> you are not having revelations anymore. You are not having dreams anymore. Even when prophets come near you, they have no message for you because everyone has rejected you. The blood of Jesus, the blood that has been shed for the propitiation of our sins, that blood, Massacre Leporia, will cleanse you tonight. In the name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus will repair your relationship, your broken down relationship between you and your maker. In the name of somebody is looking at you, you are just like King Saul. You are no longer hearing from God. You used to hear from God. But like Saul, you disobeyed God. Obedience is better than sacrifice. To hearken than the facts of rams. Masoka Leporia. You used to be an obedient child of God, but you backslid it. You used to hear directly from the throne of grace, but you no longer hear. The Lord will have mercy on you tonight. Everyone will help you tonight. The Lord will have mercy on you tonight. Masoka Leporia. Your broken down relationship between you and your maker shall be repaired on this mountain tonight by the power in the blood of Jesus. Begin to see the visions of heaven again in the name of Jesus. Begin to see the vision of heaven again in the name of Jesus. Begin to see the vision, the revelations of heaven. Begin to get signal from heaven again in the name of Jesus. Masaka Leporia begin to receive signal from heaven again in the a sister is looking at me right now. Begin to receive direct signal again from heaven in the name of Jesus by the mercy of God, by the power of God, even as we share this video. And I want you to share it 21 hot times. My Libra Gazanda, yeah. I want you to share this video 21 hot times. My Libra Gazanda, yeah. By the power in the blood of Jesus, begin to receive divine signal Signals again directly from the throne of grace in the name of Jesus. Masaka Leporia, I pray for you. Any power attacking your signal, your divine signal from the throne of grace, let the thunder of God bury them now in the name of Jesus. Any power that is attacking your divine signal, Masaka Leporia, from the throne of grace, let the thunder fire of God bury them in the name of Jesus. Pray for yourself. Say, powers. Attacking my divine signal from the throne of grace, be, be, be buried by fire in the name of Jesus. Powers attacking my divine signal that is not allowing me to hear divine information. From the throne of grace, I bury you tonight by the power in the blood of Jesus. I bury you tonight by the power. Please share this video. Whether you are on YouTube, share the video. Whether you are on Facebook, Share the video. Whether you are on Instagram, share the video. Hallelujah to Jesus. Marcel Claprono, Bande Braga. Yes, you can see. It's a typical example of how God refuses to talk to a man. Marcel Caliporia, is God refusing to talk to you because you behaved like Saul. You behaved like in Saul. He gave you instructions, but you violated the instructions. He gave you instructions, but you did not obey the instructions. May he have mercy on you tonight. Master, God bless you, my sister. I just share a video of my contact. God bless you, Sister Glennis. God bless you. Please let everybody share the video. Thank you very much, Sister Glennis, for sharing the video. Everyone will support you. In the mighty name of Jesus, Masaka Leporia. Yes, your broken down signal. Yes from the throne of grace shall be repaired tonight. Your broken down signal from the throne of grace shall be repaired tonight. Your broken down signal from the throne of grace shall be repaired tonight. That's why we need to be very careful. Be very careful. I was talking to one of my daughters in the Lord yesterday. I said, don't fight your pastor. Don't fight your pastors, please. Is dangerous. It can cut you off. It can disconnect you from divine signal. 
Masaka Lepolia. Somebody said, I, I pray for you. Before we leave this mountain tonight, the Lord will reconnect you to your divine signal. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will reconnect you to your divine signal, to your divine communication. In the name of Jesus, I want you to pray. God of Elijah, have mercy on me. Reconnect me to my divine signal, to my divine communication. In the mighty name of Jesus, God of Elijah, have mercy on me. Have mercy on my wife. Have mercy on my children. Reconnect me to divine signals. In the name of Jesus, somebody say, I prayed very well. You have not been seeing anything. No dreams, no revelations, no prophecy. You need to pray. Say, God of Elijah, have mercy on me, reconnect me to my divine signal, to divine signals. In the name of Jesus, God of Elijah, reconnect me to divine signals. In the name of Jesus, reconnect me to divine communication. In the name of Jesus, my Libra Gazanda Leporia, my Zebra Gazanda Leporia, anything in my life, oh yes, that wants to damage my divine signals, die by fire. In the name of Jesus, anything in my life that wants to damage my divine signals, that by fire, in the name of Jesus. Ah. <laughs> the Bible says the people perish for lack of knowledge. He said where there is no vision, he said the people also perish. It's the same. When there is no vision, there will be no knowledge. When there are no dreams, there will be no revelations. You can see. And when there are no revelations, there will be no knowledge. Is it not what is revealed to you that you will know? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Anything in you that is damaging divine information shall die by fire. A brother is looking at me now. Anything in you that is damaging divine information shall perish by fire. Shall die by fire. Shall perish by fire. Shall die by fire. Shall perish by fire. Shall die by fire. Shall perish by fire. Anything in my life. Pray, pray it loud and clear. Pray for yourself now. Anything in my life that is damaging divine information, I bury you now by the power in the blood of Jesus. Anything in my life damaging divine information, damaging divine signal, I bury you now by the power in the blood of Jesus. I bury you now by the power in the blood of Jesus. I bury you now by the power in the blood of Jesus. When you are a child of God and you are connected to divine signals, you must not become a loose canon that talks anyhow because you are going to run into trouble. Go and ask Joseph. Joseph was connected to divine signals. He was hearing directly from the throne of grace, but his big mouth put him in trouble. A lot of sisters, a lot of brothers, we are telling them that they are not listening. Their mouth will put them in trouble. Mas, you don't talk to people anywhere, California, so that your mouth does not put you in trouble. The Bible says, a man shall be ensnared by the words of his mouth. A man shall be ensnared by the words of his mouth. Not only that, in fact, there are some human beings you cannot talk to anyhow. Masoka Leporia, look at Moses in the Bible. They turned Koran and Abiram, they spoke anyhow, and they were buried. Miriam spoke anyhow, and she received leprosy. Masaka Leporia, be careful of those that are carrying the oil of God on their heads. Don't talk to them anyhow. It's dangerous. My Libra Gazanda Leporia. Masika Leporia. I I want you remember one of the mistakes that uh, that King Saul made while he was trying to beg Prophet Samuel to help him beg God. He tore the garment of Prophet Samuel. And that one released release a curse immediately. He said, that is how your kingdom is going to be torn into pieces. Massacre Leporia. May you never offend those that will not forgive you. 
in the name of Jesus. Somebody say you have offended those <laughs> that you are not supposed to offend. And their oil is fighting you. Master Caliporia, the Lord will have mercy on you tonight. In the name of Jesus, be careful. Be careful. Be careful. We are all human beings, but inside we are not all human beings. Some are spirits, some are demons. Master Caliporia is not every human being. The human body is just a cloak that is covering what you cannot see inside. Massacre Lepolia. There are some human beings. They are power. Divine, divine power. Divine power of God is in them. And there are some too. Satanic power is inside them. Is inside them. Massacre Lepolia. So you must be careful. The Bible says in verse 7, Then said Saul unto his servants, and this is where we are going, Seek me a woman that had a familiar spirit. <laughs> Massacre Lepolia. Somebody says, any woman, any man, any woman that is cursing me with familiar spirit, let thunder bury that spirit. In the name of Jesus, any man, any woman that is cursing me with familiar spirit, let thunder bury that familiar spirit. In the name of, not to bury the man, not to bury the woman, but let thunder bury the familiar spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus, any man, any woman, anywhere that is using familiar spirit to curse me, to curse my wife, to curse my children, thunder of God, bury that familiar spirit. In the name of Jesus, Massacre Lepolia. He says, seek me a woman that had a familiar spirit, just the same way they are looking for any man or any woman that they can use to attack you. Somebody is looking at me now. Yes, <laughs> they are looking for a man who has familiar spirit. <laughs> they are looking for a woman who has familiar spirit in order to attack you. Massacre Lepolia. But their mission shall be aborted by the power in the blood of Jesus. Their mission shall be aborted by the power in the blood of Jesus. Any man, any woman that is seeking any woman with familiar spirit, anyone seeking any woman with familiar spirit, seeking any man with familiar spirit in order to attack you, massacre Leporia, the thunder fire of God, we abort their mission over your life in the name of Jesus, the thunder fire of God. We have bought their mission. Of course, when anybody goes to witch doctors, they go to herbalist, and they are seeking for a man with familiar spirit. Why didn't they go to any man? <laughs> it's because the witch doctor, Afia Achiakon, God bless you. Good morning. God bless you. Yes. Yes. The herbalist is using familiar spirit. The witch doctor is using familiar spirit. The witchcraft powers, they are using familiar spirit. So anybody that is going to them is seeking for a man or a woman with familiar spirit. So all these stories, when we read them, we think they are just biblical stories. But we do not understand that they are, these are things that are happening in our, in our, in our world. Yes. Anybody that goes to herbalist is seeking for a man with familiar spirit. Is <laughs> seeking for a woman with familiar spirit. Somebody say, I pray. say anyone <laughs> seeking any man or woman with familiar spirit because of me. Anyone see, seeking any man or woman with familiar spirit because of me, because of my wife, because of my children. In the name of Jesus, I command you to run mad. In the name of Jesus, anyone seeking any man, seeking any woman with familiar spirit because of me, run mad by the power in the blood of Jesus. Run mad by the power in the blood of anyone that is seeking any man, that is seeking any woman with familiar spirit because of me, because of my wife, because of my children, because of my father, because of my mother, because of my brothers, because of my sisters. I command you to run mad by the power in the blood of Jesus. I command you to run mad by the power in the blood of Jesus. I command you to run mad by the power in the anyone, anywhere that is seeking any man, that is seeking any woman with familiar spirit.
spirit that is seeking any man, that is seeking any woman with, with, with witchcraft power because of me, wrong man, but the power in the blood of Jesus for in Jesus' name we pray. Yes. Let's follow the scriptures. Seek me a man or seek me a woman that has a familiar spirit that I may go to her and inquire of her. Somebody is looking at me. Anyone making inquiries about you from any man that has familiar spirit, let their madness start right now. In the name of Jesus, let their madness start right now. Yes, Mosaka, anyone making inquiries about you, yes, from men and women with familiar spirit, let madness massacre Leporia incurable madness overshadow them in the name of Jesus. Baptize them in the name of anyone that is making inquiries about you, that's seeking for information about you. And they are going to men, to women with familiar spirit. Hallelujah. Those that have the spirit that can look into your life. Nahuri Makuria, Lebra Gazanda, yes, all the Abalists, all the which is the wizards, all of them are operating with familiar spirit. So what King Saul is doing here is not different from what they are doing against you. <laughs> Hallelujah to Jesus. Yes, because these wicked men and women, they are seeking human beings with familiar spirit because they want to destroy you, because they want to call your human spirit. Hallelujah to Jesus. But the thunder of God will answer them. The thunder fire of the living God will answer them. The thunder fire of the living God will answer them. The thunder fire of the living God. Yes. Anyone in your father's house, your stepmother, your stepfather, your uncle, your auntie, anyone in your father's house that is making inquiries about you, from men and women with familiar spirit, they will run mad because of you by the power in the blood of Jesus. They will run mad because of you by the power in the blood of Jesus. You are going to pray. Say, anyone in my father's house, anyone in my mother's house, anyone in my in-law's house, anyone in my place of birth, yes, that is making satanic inquiries about me, about my wife, about my children, Yes, from men and women with familiar spirit, my Lord and my Father, let their madness start now in the mighty name of Jesus. Let their madness begin to manifest now in the name of Jesus. Let their madness begin to manifest now. Let their madness begin to manifest now. Let their madness begin to manifest now in the mighty name of Jesus. If you are watching us on Instagram, MFM Tampa, Florida, please help us to share this video and save somebody's life. Save somebody from running mad because they have prepared madness for them. Hallelujah. They have prepared instruments of divination to call their human spirit. You are going to pray any power that has prepared the instrument of divination in order to call my human spirit let the thunder of God bury your life in the name of Jesus. Any wicked power that has prepared the instrument of divination, yes, in order to call my human spirit, let the thunder of God scatter you, bury you, scatter you, bury you, scatter you, bury you, scatter you, bury you, 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 scatter you, bury you in the mighty name of Jesus. They have prepared the instrument of divination against you. They are just about to call your name. They are about to call your human spirit. But don't worry, because you are here tonight, whenever they call your name, yes, the thunder of God will answer them. The Holy Ghost fire will answer them. The blood of Jesus will answer them. In the name of Jesus, I want you to pray this prayer. As you share this video, don't forget to like the page. Hallelujah. You are going to pray. Say, Oh Lord, my Father, all those that have prepared instruments of divinations against me in order to call my spirit, 
whenever they try to call my spirit, let your thunder answer them. Let the Holy Ghost fire answer them. Let the blood of Jesus answer them. Let strange afflictions answer them. Let incurable diseases answer them. In the mighty name of Jesus, all those that are prepared, instruments of divination against me, against my wife, against my children, against my father, against my mother, against my siblings, against any member of MFM Tampa, Florida, my Lord and my Father, whenever they call our human spirit, let your thunder answer them. Let your fire answer them. Let strange afflictions answer them. Incurable diseases answer them. In the mighty name of Jesus. Because we need to also bless them. Hallelujah to Jesus. We need to bless them. <laughs> Massacre Lepolia. You can see that in the world that we live in, if you read the Bible very well, you will know that it is dangerous not to be a warrior, not to be a prayer warrior in this world. <laughs> it's dangerous not to be praying because these are the things that some wicked powers are trying to do to you. You see some people who suddenly they run mad. They suddenly they say they are, they are depressed. Suddenly the brain is damaged. Suddenly this, suddenly that. But you don't know that some powers have been attacking them. They have been attacking them. They have been attacking them. Kasula, somebody is looking at me. Any power attacking your brains shall fall down and die. In the name of Jesus, any wicked power attacking your brains shall fall down and die. In the name of Jesus, any wicked power anywhere that is attacking your brains shall run mad, shall die, shall run mad, shall die, shall run mad, shall die, shall run mad, shall die. Somebody say, I want you to pray for your children. Say, any wicked power attacking the brains of my children fall down and die. In the name of Jesus, any wicked power attacking the brains of my children fall down and die. For in Jesus' name we pray. Let us share this video. Wherever you are, keep on sharing. Hallelujah. Keep on liking and loving the page. He said, And his servant said to him, Behold, there is a woman that had a familiar spirit at Endor. A woman has familiar spirit at Endor. Endor. Go to your father's house now and pray. They say this woman had familiar spirit at Endor. <laughs> Anyone in my father's house with familiar spirit, Murabasaka Neporia, only goes fire. Fall upon them now in the name of Jesus. Anyone in my father's house, anyone in my mother's house, anyone in my in-laws' house, anyone in my place of birth, anyone in this land of America, anyone in this neighborhood with familiar spirits, holy ghost fire. Fall upon them now in the name of Jesus. Holy ghost fire. Fall upon them now in the name of Jesus. Holy ghost fire. Fall upon them now and burn them to ashes in the name of Jesus. Holy ghost fire. Fall upon them now and burn them. You can see the reason why you need to pray these kind of prayers. And the servant said to him, Behold, there is a woman that had a familiar spirit at Endor. Any man, any woman with familiar spirit in my father's house, any man, any woman with familiar spirit in my mother's house, any man, any woman with familiar spirit in my in-law's house, any man, any woman with familiar spirit in my place of birth, any man, any woman with familiar spirit in my neighborhood, Holy Ghost fire, arrest them now, Holy Ghost fire, paralyze them now, Holy Ghost fire, arrest them now, Holy Ghost fire, paralyze their altar, burn their altars to ashes, Holy Ghost fire, paralyze their altars, burn their altars to ashes, in the name of Jesus, I send the Holy Ghost fire to this neighborhood. Any altar of familiar spirit, catch fire, burn to ashes, in the name of Jesus, I release the blood of Jesus into this environment. Look at the way I'm doing my hand. Do your hand to say, I release the blood of Jesus into this environment. Every altar 
of familiar spirit begin to catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every altar of familiar spirit in this environment, I set on fire in the name of Jesus. Every altar of familiar spirit, I set on fire in the name of Jesus. Lose your power in the name of Jesus. Yes. Anyone in this neighborhood with the altar of familiar spirit, I command them to lose their altar to the Holy Ghost fire. I command them to lose their altar to the consuming fire. I command them to lose their altar to the blood of Jesus in mighty name of Jesus. Yes. Sometimes you don't know what they are doing inside their house, isn't it? Just like they don't know what I'm doing inside my own house too. <laughs> Hallelujah. Some of them don't know that fire is going on right now. But do you also know what they are doing in their own house? As you are praying now, some people are consulting Satan. Me are you. You are going to pray. Anyone around me that is consulting Satan, be paralyzed in the name of Jesus. Anyone around me, anyone in my neighborhood that is consulting Satan, that is consulting Lucifer, be paralyzed in the name of Jesus. I set your altar on fire. Be paralyzed in the name of Jesus. I set your altar on fire. Be paralyzed. Somebody is looking at me right now at a place of work. One of your colleagues is carrying a mobile altar. Somebody is looking at me right now. You are at the place of work. So one of your colleagues is carrying a mobile satanic altar. I command that altar to catch fire. How will you know? That colleague will run to the toilet. <laughs> Massacre Leporia and go and poo. Uh, as the colleague is pulling, is pulling down the altar. Yes, down the sewer. Oh yes, Masoka Leporia. Somebody is looking at me like that. You are in the, you are in the place of work. You are working, but there's somebody around you that is carrying a satanic mobile altar, and it's the altar of familiar spirit. I set it on fire in the name of Jesus. I use your presence in that environment to set it on fire in the name of Jesus. Any altar of familiar spirits, whether fixed or mobile around you, because of Kelly I use you that you are looking at me as a point of contact to set it on fire, 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 to set it on fire in the name of anyone around you carrying the altar of familiar spirits. I command them to lose their altar by the power in the blood of Jesus. I command them to lose their altar by the power in the blood of Jesus. I command them to lose their altar. Yes, because that man, that woman around you may be the witch at Endor. <laughs> may be the woman at Endor with familiar spirit. Masokali, you can see that the... The Bible is, is, is a life. It's life. <laughs> yes. Masoka Leporia. There may be a witch at Endor around you. There may be a woman or a man with familiar spirit possessed with demons, possessed with unclean spirits, possessed with foul spirits. That's what it means. Let a man of God pray around that place. Now you see them some assaulting. Manifesting. <laughs> yes, there are a lot of women with familiar spirits at end of around us. A lot of men and women with familiar spirits at end of around us. But the fire of the Holy Ghost will begin to expose them and begin to destroy their power in the name of Jesus. Massacre Leporia. I want you to pray this prayer. Say, Oh Lord, my Father, everyone around me with familiar spirit, with altars of familiar spirit, let your Holy Ghost fire expose them, disgrace them, expose them, disgrace them, and destroy their altars, destroy their powers. In the name of Jesus, anyone around me that is carrying familiar spirit, that is connected to the altar of familiar spirit, Holy Ghost fire, locate their altar and destroy it. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire, locate their altar. And so the, the Bible didn't say a spirit at altar, at end of. It's a woman, a woman with familiar spirit at end of. Remember Acts chapter 16. Acts chapter 16, 
the damsel, the beautiful girl with spirit of divination. Hmm? And these people have the power to call the human spirit. You are in the place of work. You are working. But they want to disgrace you. They go into the toilet and they are calling your spirit and you are making terrible mistakes where you are working. <laughs> they are calling your human spirit. They, they are in the toilet or they go into their car. They are in the car park. And they are calling your human spirit. They are calling your human spirit. And you that you are working, you that you are experienced, hallelujah, you begin to make terrible mistakes, silly mistakes, unpardonable mistakes. Because somebody is calling your human spirit. Masoka Leporia. Somebody, a sister is looking at me and say, anyone in my place of work, anyone, in my place of work that is using familiar spirit to call my humans to call to call my human spirit Musa Kaliporia Holy Ghost fire arrest them now disgrace them now Holy Ghost fire arrest them now disgrace them now Holy Ghost fire arrest them now disgrace them now Holy Ghost fire arrest them now disgrace them now you better you are looking at me Go into the toilet now or into your car. You are at the place of work. Yes, your break time, take your little break. Go into your car, go to the car park. And go and break now, 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 now. The person is calling your, calling your human spirit. He's calling your human spirit now because they saw that you are praying. They are calling your human spirit now. You are going to pray. Anyone around me, any man around me, any woman around me that is using familiar spirit to call my human spirit, Holy Ghost fire, arrest them now in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire, arrest them now in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire, arrest them now in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire, arrest them now in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire, arrest them now in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire, arrest them now. In the name of Jesus, Marama Sekaya Makasaka Leporia. Share the video. Beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel, that bring good tidings. Keep sharing this video. Because it's one of the atrocities that is going on in the place of work. A lady called me some, some years ago in the United Kingdom. He said there is a man living in the flat, in the apartment, on top of my own apartment. Once it is 12 midnight. You know those kind of houses where you can hear your neighbor? He said it begins to enchant. He said, Pastor, my head will begin to swell. My head will begin to swell. My head will begin to swell. That man will enchant into the night. Was not a black man. He was not a black man. So for you to know that this thing is not restricted to any race, to any culture, to any tribe. It is everywhere. That man was a white English man. I was doing that. He said, the, the moment it is 12 midnight, he said, this man begin to enchant. He said, I can't hear it. He said, but pastor, on my bed, on my pillow, my head is just expanding and contrasting, expanding and contrasting. That lady used to travel two hours to our prayer meeting, to our night vigil. <laughs> she used to travel two hours to our night vigil. We were having night vigil like this every night too, but it was in the church that we were meeting. She used to travel two hours to attend our night vigil. And I told her, I said, don't worry. We are going to bless him <laughs> with some prayers. I said, when you get home, do this, do this, pray this prayer. Whenever he starts enchanting, you yourself start your own prayer. Or make sure you start your prayer before his own enchantment starts. Because there is no enchantment 
against Jacob. There is no definition against Israel. What was the testimony? The sister told me, say, hey, Pastor. He said, from that from the day I started that prayer, anytime that man sees me, he begins to run as if he's doing a world class race. <laughs> He said, if the two of us meet at the stairway to, for you to see how terrible it is, he will physically make a new tongue and start running. The Bible says, the wicked run it when no man possesseth. But the righteous shall be as bold as a lion. Masika Leporia, you are a righteous child of God. Remain righteous. Remain holy. And you will realize that you are the son of the lion of the tribe of Judah. That you are the daughter of the lion of the tribe of Judah. That any fake lion that sees you must so calibre. If I would say the enemy, I think he said for first Peter 5 8, he said the enemy like a roaring, like a roaring, it's not even a lion, it's like a roaring lion. Go it about. Seeking whom he may devour. But when he sees you, you call yourself a Christian. There's no lion is roaring inside you. Huh? There's no lion of the tribe of Judah roaring. And they say, he divorce you easily. The lady said, Pastor, from the day I started doing what you asked me to do, that man physically run. Like Usain Bolt, like Ben Johnson, whenever he sees me. <laughs> I show you yes. that is our aim and objective too. We want to scare him too. He's not the only one that can scare others. We too want to scare him. He is using familiar spirits. We are going to use the Holy Ghost to finish him. I said, but my sister, please keep yourself holy. Keep yourself righteous. Because if you don't, if he decides to counter attack you. It's not going to be palatable. You will land in the hospital. To the glory of God, the sister kept herself holy and righteous. Hallelujah to Jesus. Okay. In verse 8, we are still looking at that first Samuel chapter 28. I love the Bible. <laughs> you can see. When you are reading the Bible, it's going to be throwing prayer points at you. Prayer points. The Lord told me, say, I've given you the mystery of the world. The Lord will give you the mystery of the world. He said, I've given you the mystery of power. The Lord will give you the mystery of power. He will give you the mystery of the world. He will give you the mystery of power. If the moment you have that too, you have arrived. <laughs> the mystery of the world, which means you read the world and you can see the life application inside the world. No wonder. Jesus said, He said, the words that I speak to you, they are spirit and their life. You are, working, you are watching a live prayer meeting now. He said, the word that I speak to you, they are spirit and they are life. They are real time. They are current. The word of God is a current power. It's a little quotes. He said, my word is like an armor. It breaks into pieces. It's like fire. It burns to ashes. Lipa kusakataya. Bragazanda musukolia. Brauri. Let's continue. First Samuel chapter 28. Look at me. I said this prayer meeting is going to be brief. Now the Holy Spirit does not allow me to go. <laughs> Hallelujah. I just wanted to do a 30 minutes prayer meeting. And go away. But to see somebody is here. No. The enemy will not overrun you. No, no. The forces of darkness, they will not prevail against you because you are a child of God. The Bible says, the, the, them that put their trust in the Lord, they shall be like Mount Zion that cannot be removed. You are like Mount Zion that cannot be removed. Okay, Sioni, Tiakule Shinedi. Masoka Leporia. Liani Aspahuti. Why don't you turn yourself to that 
Eh? He said, it's like Mount Zion. Why don't you be like that Mount Zion? That cannot be removed. That cannot be moved. Every time they move you anyhow. Because you are not a serious Christian. Every time they move you anyhow. Because you joke with your Christian life. You joke with your holiness. You joke with your righteousness. The Bible says, it said, the righteous, they shall be as gentle as a dove, but it be as wise as a serpent. Gentle as a dove. Wise as a serpent. For the Bible to say, you should be as wise as a serpent. Serpent too. Which means, he's telling you, we need a lot of wisdom. And Saul disguised himself. Hallelujah. And put on other raiment. And he went and two men with him and they came to the woman by night. Ah. He disguised himself. Which means he went there like a masquerade. His masquerade, masquerading power. Somebody said, I pray for you. That masquerading power that is always following you, that is always chasing you in your dream, shall die by thunder, shall catch fire, shall die by thunder, shall catch fire. Yes, I set the costume of that masquerade that is always pursuing you in your dream on fire. I set it on fire. I burn it to ashes in the name of the Yes. Let the wicked face behind that masquerade costume be exposed, be disgraced. Somebody is looking at me, a masquerade, a very wicked masquerade is always pursuing you in your dream. The masquerading power that is always following you shall die by thunder. In the name of, if you are the one, raise up your two hands and shout it loud again. Say, the masquerading power that is always chasing me in my dream, hear the judgment of the Lord, that by fire, 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 that by fire. Yes. Hey. In the name of Jesus. I know what it means. I've experienced it before. Some decades ago, Holy Ghost, me and Masquerade in the dream, pursuing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will run into a room, they will be forcing the door. I will run under the bed. They will be looking at me like this under the bed, telling me there's no hiding place for you. Thank God for the blood of Jesus. Thank God for the mercy of God. Thank God that God has delivered me and my household. But you are still in that in those shackles. You are here, you are looking at me. A terrible masquerade is always pursuing you in your dream. Tonight on this mountain, that masquerade shall die by thunder in the name of Jesus. That masquerade shall die by thunder in the name of Jesus. That masquerade shall die by thunder in the mighty name of Jesus. And so disguised himself. Masquerade. Why do they come as masculines? Because they don't want you to know them. Because they are familiar faces. A familiar face that is going to a woman with familiar spirit. <laughs> a familiar face going to a woman with familiar spirit. Because according to the stories we are going to read later, Saul, when he was still with God, he had banished all the witches and wizards, men and women with familiar spirits out of town. He chased them out. So definitely, the woman will run if she recognized him. So Saul had to go in like a masquerade. <laughs> Any power in your father's house that is always coming to you as a masquerade shall die by thunder in the name of Jesus. Any power in your father's house, any power in your mother's house, any power in your in-laws' house, any power in your place of birth that is always coming to you in your dream as a masquerade, they will die by thunder, they will die by fire in the name of Jesus. They will die by thunder, they will die by fire, they will die by thunder, they will die by fire. In the name, you can see that the word of God is very pregnant. Since we have been reading this scripture, did you ever see that 
King Saul was actually disguising like a masculinity. Bible said, he said, and Saul disguised himself. How did I know that he was wearing masculine costume? The Bible says, and put on other raiment. How do masculine dress? They cover themselves from the head to the toe. So that you don't see who is who is behind the masculine costume. And they begin to speak with some kind of muffled voice so that you will not know who is there. Hallelujah. And Saul disguised himself and put on other raiment. Massacre Leporia. And we pray this prayer again for you. The masculine power of your father's house that wants to disgrace you at all costs shall die by fire in the name of Jesus. The masculine power of your father's house that wants to disgrace you at all costs shall die by fire in the somebody's house. The masculine power of my father's house that wants to disgrace me, that wants to destroy me at all costs. You are a liar. Die by fire. 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 In the name of Jesus. This is the problem of some Christian brethren. They are born again. But masquerading powers. Disguising powers. Is still pursuing them in their dream. Massacre Lepolia. Somebody on Instagram, Sabi shared. He said, how can I speak with you? Just go on our Facebook. You will see our WhatsApp, WhatsApp number. Hallelujah. Or just send the message through the Instagram. I'll see it. Or send the message through Facebook, MFM Tampa, Florida. I'll see it. Hallelujah to Jesus. You are born again. You are even a chorister. You are a minister. You are even a prayer warrior. But the masquerade of your father's house, the masquerading power, the disguising power of your father's house is chasing you left, right, and center. There's a covenant that needs to be broken. I want you to pray. Every masquerading power, Masuka Leporia, Mosaka, that is pursuing me in my dream, die by fire in the name of Jesus. Every masquerading power that is pursuing me in my dream, die by fire in the name of any covenant between me and any altar, any idol of masquerade, break now by the power in the blood of Jesus. Any covenant between me, between my wife, between my children, yes, and any altar of masquerade, most and any idol of masquerade, and any spirit of masquerade, break now by the power in the blood of Jesus. Break now by the power in the blood of somebody is looking at me. Pray this by saying, any covenant between my children and masquerading spirits die by fire in the name of Jesus. Any covenant between my children and masquerading spirits die by fire, die by thunder, die by fire, die by thunder, die by the blood of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to pray. Say, the masquerades that pursued me, they will never pursue my children. In the name of Jesus. The masquerade powers that pursued me, they will never pursue my children. If they try to pursue my children, the grave of fire will swallow them. In the name of Jesus, the pray that prayer. Say, any masquerading power that pursued my father, that pursued my mother, that pursued me, that is now trying to pursue my children, grave of fire, swallow them now. Swallow them instantly. In the name of Jesus, grave of fire, swallow them. Please share this video. <laughs> Do you know how many million souls that are being chased by masquerading powers, especially in their dreams? Saul went to end up this guy saying like a masquerade. The Bible says, and put on other raiment. And he went and two men with him 
and they came to the woman by night. That's why we pray that prayer. Anyone standing up in the dead of the night to use familiar spirit against me or mad in the name of Jesus. Anyone standing then standing up in the dead of the night to use familiar spirit against me, against my wife, against my children, against my parents, against my sibling, against my friend Tampa, Florida, run mad by the power in the blood of Jesus, run mad by the power in the blood of Jesus. Somebody says, shout it loud and clear, even as you share this video. Now, if I want you to share this video 50 hot times because a lot of people are in this bondage and we need to get them set free. We need to get them connected now. Please share this video as many times as you can. In fact, to the maximum of 100 times. Murama Saka Leporia, Maruma Tikale, Bragazanda Leporia, Libra Gazanda Ya, Masuka Leporia, Matopra Kazanda Leporia, Murina Sakati, Bragazanda Ya. The thunder of God. Thunder of God. Thunder of God. Go to my father's house and destroy every altar of masquerading powers in the name of jesus thunder of god blood of jesus holy ghost fire lightning of god arrow of fire brimstones coals of fire emeralds locate the altar of masquerading powers masquerading idols in my father's house in my mother's house, in my in-laws house, in my place of birth, and begin to destroy them now. In the name of Jesus, begin to destroy them now without any hindrance, without any limitation. In the mighty name of Jesus, without any blockage, begin to destroy them. In the name of Jesus, for in Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. <laughs> they went by night. Wickedness in the night. And he said, I pray thee, divine, did you see that word divine unto me by the familiar spirits? <laughs> divine unto me by the familiar spirit and bring me him up whom I shall name unto thee. We are going to pray. Anyone making divination against me by familiar spirit, die by fire in the name of Jesus. Anyone making divinations against me, making divinations against my wife, making divinations against my children by familiar spirit, die by fire, 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 die by fire. In the name of Jesus, I told you, it's not just about calling prayer points. It's to look at the root of the prayers you are calling. A lot of people pick prayer books. They cram the prayers. They call the prayers. But they don't actually know the root, the genesis of that prayer point. So a mountain of fire, when you say, why are they praying this kind of prayer? They did that. You can see it now. And he said, I pray thee, divine unto me by the familiar spirit. It's a king that went to a woman and was asking the woman to divine unto him by familiar spirit. That's why we are praying that prayer. Anyone going to any woman, anyone going to any man with familiar spirit, and they are making divinations against you, they will all run mad together in the name of Jesus. For it is written, he frustrated the two king of liars and he made their diviners to all mad. They are making divinations against you with familiar spirit. They will all mad. On this mountain, we sentence them to madness in the name of Jesus. All those that have destroyed your life, yes, 
Masakale, that have destroyed your life with divination by familiar spirit. Tonight, this very night, the rock of God will fall upon them in the name of Jesus. This very night, the rock of God will fall upon them in the name of Jesus. those that have destroyed the agenda of God for your life. Yes, through divination by familiar spirit, the rock of God will fall upon them in the name of Jesus. Those that have destroyed the agenda of God for your life through familiar spirit. Tonight, the rock of God we fall upon them. The wrath of God. We fall upon them. The wrath of God. We fall upon them. I am praying, but are you sharing the video? If you are sharing the video, that means we are doing the same task. Don't just sit down there and be saying amen and be shouting prayers. Let God use you as a channel to save others. Sit down now, begin to share this video to all your contacts, all your platforms. It's strange. It was a prayer meeting I was going to do for about for less than 30 minutes. But because somebody is here tonight, that the hand of God must deliver. That's why the Holy Spirit has not allowed me to leave this place. And the hand of God will deliver you. Begin to share the video now. Share it to your friends. Share it to your colleagues. Share it to your neighbors. Share it to your relatives. Share it even to your enemies. But adventure, they will see this video and they will repent from attacking you. Hallelujah to Jesus. Verse 9, and the woman said unto him, Behold, thou knowest what Saul had done. The woman did not know she was talking to Saul. So how come? How can a woman not recognize a whole king? It's because he went there in masculine costume. <laughs> he covered himself from head to toe. Even if the woman could not see the head, if he looks at the feet, he will see the shoes of a king. He will know that this is a king, meaning that he covered himself all over. That night, King Saul was a masquerade, <laughs> no, not a king. That's why the woman could not recognize. Some of us have seen masquerade before. We don't recognize who is there. We just know that a human being is inside the costume running all over the place and talking with more food voices. But you don't know who it is because they are covered up. Hallelujah to Jesus. So you can see. And the woman said unto him, Behold, thou knowest what Saul had done. She didn't know she was talking to Saul. How he had cut off those that have familiar spirits. Can you see what I said? When his ways were still right with God. He had cut off people with familiar spirit. He had cleansed the land. Ah, you have started well. May you never finish badly. In the name of Jesus. Somebody is looking at me. You have started well. You will not finish badly. You will not end badly. In the name of Jesus. Say, I have started well. Pray for yourself. Say, I have started well. I will not end badly. In the name of Jesus. My children, my children's children, my wife, my descendants, we have started well. We will not finish badly. We will not end badly. In the name of Jesus. Saul started very well. He was the tallest at Gilgal. He was a warrior. He won several wars for the land of Israel. Until one day, when impatience mixed with disobedience destroyed him. Impatience. You are looking at me now. Don't allow impatience and disobedience to destroy you. When it comes to God and the business of God, you have to reference God and reference His appointed ones. 
<laughs> reference, reverence. That's why they call some pastors reverend. They revered people. It's not because of them. It's because of God. Hallelujah to Jesus. Okay. He said, how he had cut off those that have familiar spirits and wizards out of the land. Okay. So which means we can cut off people with familiar spirits <laughs> and people uh, and the wizard. And so let us go. Just like the what Saul did. Say, every familiar spirit, every wizard in my father's house I cut you off by the power in the blood of Jesus. Any man, any woman with familiar spirit, yes, with which has spirit, which have powers in my father's house, in my mother's house, in my in law's house, I cut you off by the power in the blood of Jesus. I cut you off by the power in the blood of I cut you off from the land of the living by the power in the cut them off before they cut you off. Cut them off. Massacre Leporia. Anyone in my father's house with witchcraft spirit, with familiar spirit, I cut you off from the land of the living by the power in the blood of Jesus. I cut you off from the land of the living by the power in the blood of Jesus. Yes. Saul, when he was still the righteous King Saul, he cut them off from the land. Those that have familiar spirits, the wizards. He said, wherefore then layest thou a snare for my life to cause me to die? So the woman was now saying, why, you know all this. You know what Saul has done. Why are you setting a trap for me? Hallelujah. To cause me to die. We are going to turn it to a prayer. Say, anyone setting a trap for me to cause me to die, die by fire in the name of Jesus. Anyone setting a trap for me to cause me to fail, to cause me to die, die by fire in the name of Jesus. Anyone setting a trap for me, for my wife, for my children, for my parents, for my siblings, for MFM Tampa, Florida, and the congregation to cause us to fail, to cause us to die. Wherever you are, die by fire in the name of Jesus. Wherever you are, die by fire. In the name of anyone setting trap for me, for me to die, for me to fail, die by fire. In the name of Jesus, die by fire. For in Jesus' name, even inside the church, there are women with familiar spirit at end of. <laughs> Men with familiar spirit at end of. They'll be setting a trap for you, for you to fail, for you to die spiritually. In Genesis chapter 3, the serpent came in, into the garden, set a trap for Adam and Eve. And what happened? They died spiritually. I pray for somebody looking at me. Any wicked soul that is setting a trap for you in order for you to die spiritually, in order for you to die physically, in order for you to fail, in order for you to be rejected, let the thunder fire of God bury them now in the name of Jesus. Let the thunder fire of the living God bury them now in the name of Jesus. Let the thunder fire of the living God bury them now in the name of Jesus. Hmm. This God is a wonderful God. It's a powerful God. And Saul swear, Saul had to swear to a witch. The king ordained by God swore to a witch. Ah, may you never be in the situation that will make you to bow down to your enemies. In the name of Jesus, may you never fall into that situation that will make you to bow down to your enemies. Look at it now in verse 9. This was the same King Saul that cut them off from the land. He cut off the people with familiar spirits, the wizard. He cut them off from the land. But when King Saul ran into trouble, he went and bowed down to his enemies. The same people he cut off. Eh? 
the same people he disconnected, he reconnected himself to them. I pray. All those that can destroy your children, that are connected to them right now, I let there be a divine disconnection by the power in the blood of Jesus. Yes, all those that are connected to your sons, to your daughters, that can destroy them, let there be a divine disconnection between them by the power in the blood of Jesus. Let there be a divine disconnection between them by the power in the blood of Jesus. You can see. Because sometimes, where do you get all these prayer points from, Pastor? Is from the word of God. It's from the Bible. This is a typical example of a dog going back to his vomit. May you never be in a situation that will make your dog to go back to his vomit. In the mighty name of Jesus, may you never be in a situation that will make your dog to go back to his vomit. In the name of Jesus, may I, my wife and my children, my family and my descendants, never be in a situation that will make our dogs to go back to his vomit. In the name of Jesus, the dog of Saul, the dog of King Saul, the Bible says, and the dogs, have gone back to their vomit. What he vomited, he now started swallowing it again. Ah, may the Lord deliver. Somebody is looking at me right now. All what you have vomited, you went again and swallowed them. That's why you are having terrible spiritual battles. But tonight, the Lord God of Elijah shall deliver you by fire in the name of Jesus. Tonight, the Lord God of Elijah shall deliver you by fire in the name of Jesus. The Lord God of Elijah, you went back to your vomit. After the Lord cleansed you, after you surrendered your life to Jesus, but the mercy of God will speak for you tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. The mercy of the living God shall speak for you tonight in the name of Jesus. And Saul swear to her by the Lord. Can you see that? And Saul swear to her by the Lord. Ha. A king anointed by God, swearing by the Lord to a witch. Wonder shall never end. He swore by the Lord before a woman with familiar spirit. How low a man can get. Ah, somebody is looking at me. Ah, Saul went down. You will not go down. In the name of Jesus, Saul went down, but you will not go down. In the name of say by the power in the blood of Jesus, I will not go down. In the name of Jesus, by the power in the blood, somebody says, shout this prayer loud and clear. Say by the power in the blood of Jesus, I will never go down. In the name of Jesus, my wife will never go down. My children will never go down. My parents will never go down. My siblings will never go down. And my from Tampa, Florida and the congregation we never go down in the name of Jesus the members of our church all those that are looking at me right now you will never go down in the name of Jesus by the power in the blood of Jesus you that you are hearing the sound of my voice you will never go down in the name of Jesus all the wicked powers that want you to go down they shall go down for your sake in the name of Jesus all the wicked powers that want you to go down they shall go down for your sake in the name of Jesus to pray and for yourself. So all the wicked powers that want me to go down, they will go down for my sake. In the name of Jesus, all the wicked powers that want my wife and children to go down, shall go down for their sake. In the name of Jesus, all the wicked powers that want mountain of fire and miracles ministry stamp of Florida to go down, shall go down for the sake of Christ. In the name of Jesus, shall go down for the sake of the body of Christ. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hmm. The Bible says, Saying, As the Lord liveth, there shall no punishment happen to thee 
for this thing. This one is a royal request. <laughs> there shall be no punishment. Even though I initially cut you off from the land, but I need your services. May you never have any reason to need the services of your enemies in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody is looking at me right now. May you never have any reason to need the services of your enemies. Oh Lord, my Father, have mercy on me. Don't allow me to have any reason in life to need the services of my enemies in the mighty name of Jesus. He needed the services of the enemies of God. Hallelujah. The Lord will help us. That's what happens when you go to herbalist, witch doctors. You are seeking service from enemies of God. That's why when God wants to fight them, he also fights you that is consulting them. Hallelujah. Then said the woman, Whom shall I bring up unto thee? And he said, bring me up Samuel. The act of satanically summoning the human spirit. The act of satanically calling the human spirit. Even though Samuel was dead. But you can see what they wanted to do here. This thing that is written in the Bible. Till today in my village, they still do it. <laughs> Yes, till today in my village, the pagans still do it. When somebody dies, they go and call the spirit. They said they want to know the kind of death that killed that man or that killed the woman. I'm sure they do it in your village too. So you can see it's not, it's not only biblical stories. These are still life events, real time events, current events, even in our own world. Oh, I haven't you ever heard before that when somebody dies sometimes, especially when the family of the believed or the believed family, the family of the dead, when they are upset, when they are angry, they will go and, <laughs> they will go and consult native doctors. Hallelujah. I know, I know somebody that died, the family was so mad that they believed somebody killed him and they went to go and get a king. <laughs> and buried the cane inside the coffin and told the dead body, I said, when you get to heaven, wherever you get to, make sure you carry this cane and come and flog the person that killed you to death. Whether by coincidence or whether what they did was what happened, but the person they suspected killed that man also died. <laughs> also died. I they are not just, we are not just telling stories. They are realities. They can call a human spirit. And don't allow them to call your spirit before you begin to pray. I remember when we were very young, our parents used to tell us, if somebody, if you are hearing your name and you do not see the person that is calling you, Never say yes. Hallelujah. I will know. Say don't say anything. For you to answer, yes, who is calling me? You must see the person that is calling you. Why? Because they know that they, some wicked powers call the human spirit. You just hear your name. In love. Somebody say a prayer. You are always hearing, you are hearing that somebody is calling your name, but is you are the only one hearing it. And when you tell other people they think you are mad, you are not mad. You are actually hearing that they are calling your name. I pray for you. Any wicked power that is 
calling your name in the spirit realm shall die by thunder in the name of Jesus. Any wicked power calling your name in the spirit realm shall die by thunder, shall die by fire, shall die by thunder, shall die by fire. In the name of any wicked power calling your name in the spirit realm shall die by fire. I pray for your children. Any wicked power that is calling the name of your children that want to kill your children because they want you to, to cry. They want to make your children to become mad because they want you to cry. They will die in the name of Jesus. They will die in the name Yes. You are a mother. You are looking at me. They want to fight you through your children. But I pray. Anyone calling the human spirit of your children in order to enjoy you shall perish by fire. In the name of Jesus, any wicked power calling the human spirit of your children in order to enjoy you, in order to damage you, shall die by fire. In the name of Jesus, shall die by fire. In the name of Jesus, shall die by fire. In the name of Jesus, shall die by fire. In the name of they are calling the name of your children because they want to afflict them. Musaka Leporia, I want you to pray. Say, anyone calling my children, calling the name of my children, calling the human spirit of my children in order to afflict them wherever you are. Let thunder baby you, let fire destroy you, let thunder baby you, let fire destroy you. Let let thunder bend you. Let fire destroy you. Let thunder bend you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Are you sharing this video? That is your own part in this meeting. Go ahead and share it. So that other people can be saved. So that other people's children can be delivered. The Lord will help us. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. He said, bring up unto. And he said, bring me up Samuel. And when the woman saw Samuel, Samuel actually appeared. But we believe that it was a demon representing Samuel. How do I know that? From the thing that the woman said. That's why we're going to pray. <laughs> Any demon representing me, bearing my name in the spirit realm, die by fire in the name of this is a very crucial prayer now. <laughs> when some people, when we are praying against soul ties, some people don't understand what we're saying. Sometimes in the spirit realm, there is a demon that looks like you, that is wearing your face. That is bearing your name. So ties. Yes. That's why sometimes you go somewhere and some people say, We have seen you before in this place. This is not the first time you are coming. Say, No. This is the first time coming here. You say, No. You are lying. You've been here before. We've seen you before. <laughs> Yes, demon spirits representing humans in the spirit realm. Look at it here. The Bible says in verse 12, 1 Samuel chapter 28, verse 12. Now when you look at the Bible very well, you will understand a lot of mysteries. The mysteries going on around us. They went to her to call up the spirit of Samuel. And she actually saw the Samuel. But the Bible says it is appointed for a man to die once. And after that, it is judgment. And the Samuel that was dead, how was it possible again to see him? Listen to what the woman said. And when the woman saw Samuel, she cried with a loud voice 
And the woman spake to Saul, saying, Why hast thou deceived me? For thou art Saul. For the first time, since King Saul met her, she was recognizing King Saul. Why? Because some spirit came out of the ground. Hallelujah. That assisted her. Okay. And the king said unto her, Be not afraid. For what sawest thou? What did thou? What did you see? Look at what the woman said. The woman didn't say, I saw Samuel. She said, and the woman said unto Samuel, I saw gods ascending out of the earth. I saw gods. Who are these gods with letter G? Demons. Foul spirits unclean spirits it was one of them that was looking like Samuel that was speaking like Samuel ah pray for yourself whether you understand this this scripture or not pray say any demon representing me in the spirit realm your end has come. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Any demon representing me, representing my wife, representing my children in the spirit realm, die by fire in the name of Jesus. Any demon representing me, my wife and my children in the spirit realm, die by fire, die by fire, die by fire in the name of Because these are the demons that are responsible for the woes of your life. You know, we talk about familiar spirit. The spirit that is familiar to the family. Familiar spirit. What are these spirits? Remember, they went to Endor to see a woman with familiar spirit. What was coming out of the ground that she was calling gods were the familiar spirit. The spirit of the family. The spirit of all those that are dead in your family. Familiar spirit. When they were alive, they knew you. So when they were dead, they still recognize you. Familiar spirits. These are spirits that will tell your life history. Because they were there when you were born. And so I saw gods coming, ascending out of the earth. And he said unto her, what form is he of? Can you see? Look, if a Bible student, <laughs> you can see. King Saul had to ask her, he said, what did you see? He said, oh, okay, I saw this somewhere. He said, I saw gods, not even one, there were many, gods ascending out of the earth. He now asked her, and he said unto her, what form is he of? And she said, an old man cometh up. Can you see? Gods ascending, coming up. He now said, an old man cometh up. They knew why he was there. So one of the demons, of course, was going to mimic Samuel. Samuel was a prophet of God. How can a witch summon this, this prophet of God? When prophet Elisha, he, when he died, his own dead body eh, rose up the dead. They wanted to bury a dead man. The band of the Arameans were coming. <laughs> the people that were going for the funeral procession, they saw the Arameans, their enemies. Hey! He said they were going to bury somebody. And they saw the 
<laughs> there's, there's all the killer, the killers. Like they say in Nigeria, there's all the killer handsmen coming. Of course, they dump the dead body and they ran away. Fortunately, the dead body fell on the tomb, on the sepulchre of Elisha. And what happened? The moment the dead body, the coffin landed on the tomb of Elisha, the man in the coffin, coffin woke up. I'm sure it must have been, must have been a pandemonium that day. They were going to bury a man. They dropped his coffin on the tomb of Elisha. The man too jumped out of the coffin. While they were running in front, he too was running behind them. And the band of Arameas were following all of them. So when they looked back, they saw the dead body they were trying to bury. <laughs> they saw the enemies they were running from. Don't boot up. <laughs> They saw a ghost pursuing them. Hallelujah. <laughs> because the ghost too was running away for his dear life. He's now a living being because he woke up. You can see. So it's not possible to have gone to wake the spirit of Samuel. It was one of the demons representing Samuel. He said, an old man cometh up and he is covered with a mantle. So I'll disguise to the place now. A demon too was disguised before him. <laughs> Hallelujah. And, and Saul perceived that it was Samuel. He only perceived. He didn't know. There was no confirmation that that was Samuel. Because this, uh, to Bible students, is a lot of, is a lot of debate. People say, was it really the spirit of someone? No. If you look at those scriptures line by line, precept by precept, the woman said, I saw gods coming or be ascending out of the earth. And when Saul now said, what form did he take? He now started describing an old man that was putting on, hallelujah, covered with a mantle. And Saul perceived that it was Samuel, and he stooped with his face to the ground and bowed himself. You can see the king bowing down to demons. May you never bow down to demons in the name of Jesus. May you and your descendants never bow down to demons in the name of Jesus. Ah, oh Lord, I and my descendants, by your mercy and by the power of your holy name, we will never bow down to demons in the mighty name of Jesus. I, my wife and my children, my family and my descendants, we will never bow down to demons. In the name of, but if you are a pro chabalist and they say you should bow down, you are bowing down to demons. <laughs> they say you should touch the earth and touch your chest, you are bowing down to demons. You are sending money to them to give you chaps, you are bowing down to demons. So sometimes it may not just be that you are physically at the altar, but some of your actions is actually bowing you down to the demons. Somebody is looking at me right now. You are sending money to a prophet who is a demonic worshiper. Technically, you are buying down to demons. Tonight, after this meeting, I pray the Lord will open your eyes and see the error that you are committing. And the mercy of God will speak for you in the mighty name of the The prophet you are sending money to is a abanist. He's not a child of God. He's a witch doctor. And by extension, he's causing you to bow down to demons. Isn't it strange? The things he's asking you to do, they are unprintable. In fact, they cannot be said outside. They are not scriptural. Disconnect yourself from that, 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 that woman with familiar spirit at Endor. You need to disconnect yourself immediately before they destroy you. Before the wrath of God falls upon them and by extension falls upon you. And Samuel said to Saul, 
Why has thou disquieted me to bring me up? The act of satanically summoning the human spirit. Hallelujah. And Samuel said to Saul, Why has thou disquieted me to bring me up? And Saul answered, I am so distressed, for the Philistines make war against me, and God is departed from me. God is departed from him. Now he's going to the dead. <laughs> you know what they call this? Necromancy. Speaking with the spirit of the dead. And of course, what they are speaking with is demons. Necromancy. Necromancers. Somebody's here. Anyone. Yes. Using the spirit of the dead to fight you shall die by fire in the name of Jesus. Anyone, anywhere, using the spirit of the dead, using necromancy to fight you, to fight your destiny, shall die by fire, shall die by fire, shall die by fire, shall die by fire, shall die by fire. Anyone using necromancy. Yes, speaking with the spirit of the dead to fight you shall die by fire, shall die by fire. So, for so you can see, necromancing is going on here. Speaking with the spirit of the dead. He said, And God is departed from me and answered me no more, neither by prophets nor by dreams. May the Lord never depart from you in the name of Jesus. So that you, you yourself will not, will not begin to look for the spirit of the dead to speak to you. Anyone seeking the spirit of the dead to speak to him, they will only hear dead information. <laughs> yes, anyone looking for the dead to speak to them, we only hear dead information. Information that is dead. Hallelujah. Therefore, I have called thee that thou mayest make known unto me what I shall do. Then somewhere wherefore then dost thou ask of me, saying the Lord is departed from thee and has become thine enemy. So why are you now coming to me when God has departed from you and has become your enemy? Hallelujah. You can see the story of King Saul. Very pathetic. He started very well, but it ended badly. Meaning that it's very possible for a man or a woman to walk with God, to walk before God, and one mistake, one error in their lives can finish them. Hallelujah. And also, looking at the topic of today's prayer meeting, the act of satanically Summoning the human spirit. Are you hearing your name being called when really you cannot see who is calling you? Are you hearing your name being called in the dream? Are you hearing your name being called in the dead of the night? Are you hearing your name being called even when you are in the office? In most cases, they are preparing insanity for you. Because of course, when you begin to say, yes, who is calling me? Everybody around you begins to think you have a Socratic problem. Or you are saying yes, when there is nobody calling you. But the truth is, you are hearing voices. They are actually calling you. So you see, they want you to become mad. <laughs> Hallelujah to Jesus. Pastor, can you please use this platform to give information on the Universe program at MFM Tampa? Yeah, if you go to our website, everything is there. We will have a deliverance program this weekend, starting from tonight, by the grace of God. Family Deliverance, part two. So just go on the website mfmtampaflorida.com You will see all the information there. The Lord will help us in the mighty name. So are you here tonight and this is the story of your life. This is the battle that you are fighting. And you are yet to surrender your life to Jesus. I will advise you. 
I will admonish you that this is the time to surrender your life to Jesus, to give your life to Christ. The Bible says is the firstborn amongst the dead, meaning that even amongst the dead, if they call you, he will answer. They are. Hallelujah. Because it is a familiar terrain to Jesus. The Bible says is the head of principalities, Colossians. Hallelujah. So you need Jesus to help you to fight this kind of battle. Because when they are calling your spirit to be honest with you, <laughs> it is not you that can stop yourself from saying yes to them. It is not you that can stop yourself from answering the call, spiritual call, when they are calling your human spirit. It will take the power of God to stop you from answering the call. So if you are here, and you know you are the vulnerable one, you know you are the one they are targeting, they want to send insanity into your life, you have been seen you know, little, little battles like this come. I, I you want to surrender your life to Jesus. Lay your right hand on your chest and say, Lord Jesus, Son of the living God, say it loud and clear. Lord Jesus, Son of the living God, come into my life. Take control of my life. I, I surrender my life to you. I accept you today as my Lord, my Savior, and my master, Lord Jesus, let your precious blood cleanse me from all unrighteousness and let my body become the temple of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father, for in Jesus' name we pray. My Lord and my Father, for all these your children that have just surrendered their lives to Christ, Father, have mercy on them. Forgive them. O oh Lord, my Father, accept them. Remove their names from the register of death and write their names in the book of life in the mighty name of Jesus. As many as have surrendered their lives to Christ on this mountain today, my Lord and my Father, let them make heaven. Let them become rapturable in the mighty name of Jesus. Do not allow them to end up in hellfire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And for the rest of us, let us just uh, continue to bless God and thank Him for what He has done for us on this mountain today. Like I said, it was just going to be a 30 minutes prayer tonight, but somehow God said, no, I'm going to have my full slot. <laughs> we give Him all the glory. We give Him all the honor. We give Him all the adorations. We thank Him for bringing us to this mountain and delivering us tonight. We thank Him for saving us and for healing us. Blessed be His holy name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Say all my testimonies. Yes, my breakthroughs, my deliverance. I seal with the blood of Jesus. And any power that may try to attack me. Because of what God has done for me tonight on this mountain. Only ghost fire. Bury such powers. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let's go ahead and thank God for mountain of fire. And Miracles Ministries, Tampa, Florida, where this live broadcast is coming to us. We cover the church, MFM Tampa, Florida, with the congregation, with the blood of Jesus. It shall be well with the church. It shall be well with the congregation. In the mighty name of Jesus, the glory of the living God shall continually overshadow this church. In the name of Jesus, the gates of hell shall not prevail against this church. Every plan of darkness against mountain of fire, miracles, Minister Tampa, Florida, is destroyed tonight by the power in the name of Jesus. Wonderful and everlasting Father, we thank you for the pastor and his family, the ministers, the workers, the members, and their families. We soak everyone in the blood of Jesus, even as we gather together to wage war against the kingdom of darkness. May we never become casualties. May our spouses, our children never become casualties on the battlefield of life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, continue to bless the pastor and his family. Continue to encourage them because they need a lot of encouragement. And Father, bring faithful men. This work is very big. It's huge. 
One man cannot do it. Father, bring faithful men, men that love God, men that want to, men and women that want to walk for God, that want to run after God. Father, bring them to Mountain of Fire Miracles Ministry, Tampa, Florida, so that we can win the whole of America, the whole world together for Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, let your holiness and righteousness continue to overshadow Mountain of Fire Miracles Ministry, Tampa, Florida. And the family deliverance program we have this weekend, we soak it in the blood of Jesus. Oh Lord, our Father, Father, let your will be done. Come and fight for your children. Come and protect us. Come and be with us. Come and deliver us. Come and save us. Come and heal us, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Wonderful God. <clears throat> we also pray for those that are praying for the church. All our intercessors. All our financial supporters. That the Lord will continue to bless you. In the name of Jesus. The Lord will take up your battles and fight for you. Even as you attend to the business of God. Even we attend to your own business. In the mighty name of Jesus. It shall be well with you all the days of your life. The Lord will remember your arms and your good deeds like Cornelius in the Bible. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God bless you mightily. Let us pray for our Father in the Lord, Dr. Daniel Kola Wale Odukoya. Hallelujah. So you can imagine the wickedness that will be going on in high places concerning our Father in the Lord. Uh, any wicked power anywhere. And that is summoning the human spirit of Dr. Lukoya, summoning the human spirit of his wife, Momisha de Lukoya, summoning the human spirit of their children. Let such powers be buried alive in the mighty name of Jesus. So we are going to pray today. Say any wicked power calling the human spirit of Dr. Lukoya. And I will tell you what they try to do sometimes. When they are calling the human spirit of children of God, prophets of God, it's just they want them to go into error. That's why. But by the power in the blood of Jesus, our Father and the Lord, Dr. Lukoya, will never go into error in the name of Jesus. He will never go into error. He will never go into disobedience in the mighty name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus will continue to be his covering. The spirit of the living God will continue to be his guardian in the name of Jesus. I'm going to guide him and guide his family. In the mighty name of Jesus, it shall be well with them. That which God has committed into their hands, they will finish it, they will complete it, and they will make heaven. Yes, they will receive crowns with stars in heaven. In the name of Jesus. Let us pray for our land. We soak our land, our nation, our country in the blood of Jesus. Oh Lord, our Father, all the killers in our land, Baba, bury them by fire. In the name of Jesus, all the killers, the wasters of souls in our land, my Lord and my Father, waste their souls in the mighty name of Jesus. The devils in our land that have taken over in our land, that are killing the images of God, my Lord and my Father, bury them alive in the mighty name of Jesus. Deliver our lands from the hand of the destroyers. In the mighty name of Jesus, let the glory of our land be restored again. Let the prosperity, the progress of our land be restored again. Father, give us a leader after your heart, a righteous leader, a leader that is going to draw the nation closer to you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, we call, call, commit every land all over the world into your hands, especially Nigeria. I soak in the blood of Jesus, Britain, America, every country in the world where they are having one issue or the other. Oh Lord, let the Prince of Peace overshadow them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we commit the rest of today, the rest of this weekend into your hands. We soak it in the blood of Jesus. It shall be a glorious weekend in the name of the Father the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father, for in Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. Let us share the grace now. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord 
forever and ever. Amen. Let us sing all our prayers, our deliverance, our testimonies with several powerful hallelujah. Let's go. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Once again, I just want to thank you for connecting to this Night of Fire program uh, tonight. The Lord that brought you here, that specially invited you, that has delivered you, that has healed you, oh yes, shall keep you in the mighty name of Jesus. He will continue to protect you, even from the hands of the wicked, in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for, for joining us in today's uh, prayer meeting. Thank you for sharing the video. Uh, if you have shared the video, we thank God and bless God for your life. If you are yet to share the video, we thank God and bless God too for your life. Uh, the Lord will continue to bless you. But if you have not shared the video, please help us to share this video on all your social media platforms. Yes, because you can see the content of today's prayer meeting. There are a lot of people out there that need these prayers. Let us connect to them. Let them they themselves see it in the Bible, the sources of their battles. Because when they see it, you know, from the Bible perspective, the way they are going to pray is going to be different. So let us use this platform, this video, yes, to, to bring them into their own deliverance, into their own healing. And the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Thank you for liking our page. Thank you for loving the page. Ever we honor you in the mighty name of Jesus. And if you are yet to subscribe to our YouTube channel, it is MFM Tampa, Florida. Please subscribe. And of course, we also come, come live on Instagram. Hallelujah to Jesus. We are also on Instagram, MFM Tampa, Florida. One word. Hallelujah to Jesus. So you can share from any of our social media platform, whether YouTube, Facebook, or Instagram. God bless you mightily in the mighty name of Jesus. For those that want to participate in this weekend deliverance, yes, you still have about one or two hours to register. Just go to our website, put in your regist uh, registration, and uh, very soon you will be hearing from us how you are going to go about the deliverance if you are online. But if you are in Tampa, you are in Florida, we will encourage you to come directly to the church. The Lord bless you from Zion in the name of Jesus. For our one minute prayers, hallelujah, because we are going to do our one minute prayer now. Amen. Let us do our one to two minutes. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. God bless you. Hallelujah. See you during the deliverance program. Of course, you are not going to be seeing me live until Sunday. But if you want to join the deliverance program, we, we only hear it through Zoom. Hallelujah. So if you want to be part of the deliverance program, you will only connect to us through Zoom. And we will send the link to you uh, when the deliverance is about to start. Hallelujah. So make sure you are registered. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Have a very beautiful, beautiful weekend in the name of Jesus. Bye.